Like they say, rather late than never. friends welcome to another art video from the artifacts 23 studio my name is Pietro if you are new here feel free to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified of new art vibes coming your way and if you enjoyed the video I would really appreciate a thumbs up in my previous video I promised you a tour of my Inktober sketchbook and today I am going to share that one with you. So for Inktober 2021, like, the, like with the previous Inktobers, I did not um, stick with the official Inktober prompt. This is my third year doing Inktober. With the previous two years, I, um, I sort of um, created my own theme. This year I did basically the same, um, although it's not a theme as such. I basically just drew some of my favorite things. Um, I will explain as I go along. Like for instance, I chose um, photographs from when uh, my husband and I traveled to Germany in um, 2014 and I used some of the photos from that um, trip. Um, we went to um, Basel and Dresden and so on and um, yeah most of my most of the drawings are from Dresden Dresden was my favorite um, city and yes I will show you all of those pictures that I drew from there and other than that um, uh, yeah I just really drew stuff that I um, enjoy or that I find interesting or that's special to me so that that was my theme for for Inktober 2021. Firstly, let me take you through all of the materials that I used and then we can get into the video where I take you through a tour of my sketchbook. First of all, the sketchbook that I used for Inktober this year is the Hanna Müller Nostalgie Sketchbook. It's 190 GSM, it's got 80 pages. Here you go, um, that is the cover. I hope you can see there. This is what the sketchbook looks like. Um, the book itself is a hardcover um, and really thick, lovely paper. I would really recommend this one. It's a lovely, lovely sketchbook, um, especially if you like using wet media and watercolor. That's my favorite, as you might know. I purchased um, a set of Koi um, color brush pens. Um, and it's the first time that I've tried them. I feel that I need some more experience with them since um, I wasn't sure how to blend and um, yeah it, it takes some getting used to. I actually um, I think they're really vibrant beautiful um, beautiful tips on them. I don't know if you can see there and um, actually really easy to draw with but like I say I just need to get the hang of it and learn how to um, how to blend yes um, I also um, these are my go-to's the um, the Unipin fine liner um, I have a, a two three a five and also a one um, size nibs that I use these are my favorite pens um, to draw with um, when I do ink ink and line drawings um, and then of course also the jelly roll um, white um, pencil always a favorite and the and just the normal um, brush pens as well um, that you just you just fill the little tank with water and um, you just squish water from the um, to reach the, the brush and then I also purchased Kiritaki white ink. It's really opaque and um, a little bit goes a long way. It's perfect for highlights and in some of the sketches I, I drew a, a white border around the um, sketch which um, really just makes it pop. Um, I also purchased the black. The, this is the super black ink by Kiritaki. Here you go. Um, Lovely, lovely ink. I really enjoyed this one as well. Oh, I also used my Sakura Pigma brush pen. This is a brown one actually, um, with a quite a thin, fine nib there. 
and also um, a favorite of mine a set of kiritaki i don't know if you can see um a set of kiritaki um this is supposed to be watercolor but it acts more like um like gouache um a beautiful um color range there as you can see the colors are vibrant um like i said it goes on like a gouache um so uh, for me really nice to blend with so that is everything that i think that i use for this inktober if i did um forget something i will just um, pop it in the description box below let's get into the video okay so this is day one of inktober 2021 i just drew some um some glass pots that i had here in the studio um and um, i just thought that it went well with the inktober theme and um yeah just um i just used some ink and a little bit of um watercolor there for for this drawing okay so day two this is just a little picture that i took of one of my lovebirds just used being here probably one of my um my uni pin um pens and um yes just another favorite picture of mine this is a picture or a drawing um, of a photo of my little rescue kitten um he was sitting um in his window on his um on his little bed there there's the the wall there and he's looking outside the window probably spotting um a bird or something in the tree and um he has the most amazing blue eyes i probably did not catch a, capture it very well but yes i really love this um photograph so um i made a drawing of it oh and i used the brown um sakura brush pen um for this and for the blue i think i used the the koi brush pen the blue one okay on to the next one this was actually <laughs> what happened here is i wet the page and then um, i went in with my black ink and um, made actually made a mistake i dropped um, ink in the water puddle or, or in the water and um, it was not um, the picture that i planned so i just thought why not go with it and um, it actually i don't know if you can see this but it became jellyfish yeah why not <laughs> yeah so it's just ink um there and a little bit of black um drawing pen this one is a picture that i took in the garden um i don't know what you call this plant um in english <laughs> the little red dragonfly was sitting at the tip of this i took the picture and i really love this um it they oh, i love them they look like little ballerinas when they when they balance on the tip of a plant or something and they just dance across the garden um this i made with the yes with the brush pens the koi brush pens um yes i really enjoyed this one i love this picture this is one of my favorites okay so this one this is um yeah <laughs> actually this is my own hand i don't know if you can see the resemblance there and i just drew a little birdie um as you know by now i love birds and um yeah um to get a bird to come and sit on your hand that takes patience that's why i wrote patience there and um yeah bird feeder i'm always feeding the birds outside in the garden and i have a cage full of 12 love birds um yes so yeah very special one this for me this was done also with the koi brush pens um it's very vibrant but i actually like the look of this one yeah okay this one is a photograph that i took um on our visit to dresden this um is taken in one of the gardens over there um i really enjoyed the the um the couple sitting here on the bench with the tree and um there's a little stream here there was a little duck but i'm not sure if you can see this it wasn't a success <laughs> um but i really enjoyed the scenery this was done with the with the with this set um of watercolors i could say they act more like um they act more like gouache than anything else but i really enjoyed the scene and then i went along the the edges with the white um kuritaki ink 
to get it nice and crisp. I, I enjoy this one. Okay, on to the next one. This is just my watch that I drew. <laughs> um, yeah, nothing special here. Um, it's done with the black ink and this, um, this dip pen. I did everything with this um, one. And um, yeah, uh, I enjoyed this one as well. Okay, this was a... Um, this is also from from the from our Dresden visit or oh, this was actually in Basel um, beers that we had in one of the gardens there um, I really I really like this one as well one of my favorites too and also at the Dresden Christmas market um, there was this ferris wheel and I'm, I, I took this picture and um, yeah another one that I really enjoyed um, to draw also um, made with the with the koi coloring brush pens i like this one okay so this must be my favorite um this is a scene of dresden from a rooftop and um this is actually i'm not an urban sketcher but um i think this might be one of my first um urban sketches that i've ever tried and for me in this inktober this is probably my favorite i really like this one that's the that's the Frauenkirche in Dresden. I hope I'm not butchering that that word, um, but yeah, really love this one. Okay, this is just um, this. <laughs> my neighbor from across the street always um, is always bringing me flowers from her garden. This is a bunch of nasturtiums that she brought me. I love the contrast of the orange and the blue green here. And yeah, I just really like it. Um, I outlined the little flowers with white um, with white um, jelly pen, um, gel pen, and yeah, I, I I enjoy this one. Another favorite. This one I just made for my sister. <laughs> she has a white husky, and she was visiting me, and she was really missing her uh, um, her puppy. And um, yeah, so I made this is actually a wolf. I, I don't, I'm sure it's not a husky dog um, but I just drew this one for her um, I left the um, the black still wet and I dropped some of the white ink in there I don't know if you can see that but yes and the rest was just um, done with um, black um, ink pen this is my um, tea mug <laughs> um, obviously it's got owls on it <laughs> and um, this was also done with the koi brush pens I like how, um, how vibrant this one is um, yeah another favorite this was a raging non-success <laughs> definitely a fail um, um, I don't know what went wrong with this um, it's a picture I took um, when we were having lunch one day somewhere and um, of a hamburger and chips and an onion ring but um, yeah to me this is not a success but um, nevertheless um, it's a painting it's done <laughs> not my favorite this is a picture um, from my own um, wardrobe this is um, like a wood hanger with knobs and some of my um, yeah, some of my neck pieces just hanging on it. I, I just thought it was cute. <laughs> um, yeah, nothing special there. Also done with my watercolor um, and pen. All right. Okay, this one. Um, it was on the 17th of October. It was my husband and my um, 23rd um, wedding anniversary. And these were the colors from our wedding. Um, it was like a, a wine red or burgundy and charcoal. And um, I just drew the, the glasses that um, we got from there with rings. <laughs> it looks a bit weird maybe, but um, yeah, this was this was done on the 17th of October, which was our 23rd wedding anniversary. Okay, here is another one of my favorite um, drawings from this Inktober. This is the train station in Dresden. Um, like I said, absolutely not an urban sketcher, but I really liked the... Um, the vibe of this one, the, the depth that I could get in there, um, it looks a bit wonky, maybe. Um, but I like how the train actually fades out here, how that red fades out here, um, looking, making it look like the train is actually moving. Um, yeah, I really enjoy the photo. I enjoyed um, doing this one. Um, yeah, one of my favorites. 
Okay, I'm not sure everybody knows who Ria the Naked Birdie is. If you don't know, I will put a link down below in the description box. Um, she unfortunately um, passed away already. Um, she was a very famous little bird. She had a disease that um, made all of her feathers fall out, except for that little one. <laughs> and because I love birds and I love love birds, um, yeah, I, I just had to draw her. So cute. Okay, this was not a success at all. Um, I I tried to draw an owl in a black um, on a black background. Um, yeah, mm, not a success. But oh well, that's a drawing <laughs> for what it's worth. Okay, here's another um, famous little bunny. Um, it's from an account that I follow on YouTube. Um, a lady um, in um, in Denmark and she has this um, bunny called Luna and um, yeah I I, um, I just thought why not give it a go um, and I drew um, this little bunny yeah okay. okay so this is also very special for me it didn't come out very successfully but oh well um, this is one of my art students one year um, made me this mosaic um, bird bath and she put koi fish in it. Um, we have a koi fish pond um, in the garden and she um, and she made this for me and I thought it was so 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 special. It's beautiful um, with the turquoise color. She knows that I love turquoise and um, the the um, and all of the fish in there and the um, water lilies that she made in there. I'm not sure if you can actually distinguish it there. But yes, um, I enjoyed this one. Also on a double page. Yeah, I like this one as well. Um, so then I decided to draw koi fish. I've never drawn um, koi fish before or fish for that matter. Um, not like this. And um, yes, I actually, I actually thought it, that they came out Mm, okay this one not so successful I really like that one actually um, and this was also done with the um, koi brush pens yes like that one um, okay so this is also from a photo um, I took in Germany um, uh, there were some um, cuckoo clocks on a wall um, uh, a cuckoo clock for um, all of the time zones across the world and um, I don't actually remember <laughs> which country this was for but um, I just decided to draw this little cuckoo clock yeah uh, yeah I used the Kuritaki um, watercolor set for that and um, obviously black um, drawing pens and white oh you can see the white gel pen as well okay um, I enjoyed this one as well. It's also from a photo I took in the spring when everything was blooming and um, um, this is just some some blossoms. Um, I actually think they are they're not cherry blossoms. <laughs> I think they are blossoms from um, from a apricot tree or something. Yeah, but yeah, I, I, I like the simplicity of this one. Um, I, I, I kept it quite loose. As you can see, um, I didn't go for a lot of detail, but it came out, I actually think it came out quite um, sweet. I like the softness and just the, um, yeah, just the splatters and everything. Yeah. Previously this year, I drew some proteas um, for a design um, for some of my um, jewelry that I make. And um, I decided to, to do both of them again um, for this drawing or for this for these two days and um, just to try and do a one line drawing I'm not sure if it's a success um, yeah it does it probably doesn't look bad um, it looks a bit wiry or something but yeah um, I think it's I think it's okay <laughs> yeah and then on this day I, I did the same I tried the one line drawing again also from a photo that I took um, yeah I don't know if you can see there I actually enjoyed it. it. It's you need to get used to that, um, to drawing um, a whole picture with just one line. But yeah, interesting. This <laughs> is actually from a tattoo that my husband has on his arm. Um, I'm not going to go into detail to what it means. I did this with the with the black kuretake ink um, and a and a, a um, watercolor brush, 
and um, it's difficult to get uh, the hang of Japanese writing um, the way they do it. Oh, it's so beautiful when they do it. But yeah, and then I just dropped some splatters on there. <clears throat> okay, and on to the last one. Just a little geisha girl. I love the colors in this one. Um, the red with the black and white. Simple, but um, hopefully hopefully elegant. I love geishas. They, they're so mysterious and everything. There you can see little white flowers there. Um, yeah, I just I just really enjoyed the colors for this one. And uh, um, yeah, I don't know. There's something about geishas. <laughs> yeah, so that is it for my Inktober. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed my um, Inktober drawings and all of the stories behind all of the um, paintings in there. If you liked the video, remember to leave a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. I also would like to say thank you to all of the new subscribers this year. Um, it's been a journey, <laughs> um, but thank you so much for your support. And on that note, I would like to wish you blessings for the festive season. Um, I hope you find time to um, rest and to enjoy time with friends and family. Um, keep safe and I will see you next year with some more art vibes. And as always, remember to follow your art.